With this powerful tool, you can quickly and easily format letters and postcards, then mail merge your data records, including images of the properties from Google. All done automatically, saving you countless hours, and making your postcards and letters really stand out to impress your prospects. Let's jump in and show you how this works. First, we'll open up the tool, and if it asks you to enable the content, you'll need to do so. As we can see here by clicking on More Details, it's asking us to enable both macros and data connections. So we'll enable both. And click OK. And the tool is ready to go here, embedded in the Excel file. This is the template that is going to be mail merged, and obviously you can modify this any way you like. So first, let's import some data. We'll come to the Start tab. We'll click Browse and locate our data records file that we exported from Successor's data. Now by default, the tool is set up to look for the property address info the way it's formatted in Successor's data. But if you've got a data records file that is formatted differently, no problem. Just enter in those column headers here and tell the tool what to look for. And we'll import. And now the data has been imported into the tool. Whatever data you would like mail merged into these letters, such as the property address and property city, just make sure that the fields are inserted in the proper order. You can choose to print out any data fields you like, they just need to be spelled exactly as they are in the data, including upper or lower case, and they need to be enclosed in these brackets. And make sure that all of your data remains within this template size, which is designed to print out on a single page. You'll want to insert your own picture or logo and contact info, of course, the picture can be moved by dragging it around, or you can delete it if you like. And you can even place the property image wherever you'd like in the letter. You'll need to highlight the image container, then under Home tab, come to Merge and Center, Unmerge Cells. Then highlight the image cell again, and cut, and paste it where we'd like. Then select the cells around it according to your desired size, and come here to Merge Cells. And there you go. Now in order to be able to fetch data from Google, you'll need an API key. There are just a few steps to get this, but don't worry, Google issues these for free. You'll just need to visit console.developers.google.com and then log in with a Gmail account. Obviously, if you don't have a Gmail account yet, that's one last step you'll have to take. But they are free too, and once you have one, just log in with those credentials here. And you'll see their library of API keys. In the Maps API category, You'll want to expand the menu and select Google Street View Image API. Click Enable, then come to Credentials and you'll see the API key here. Just copy that key and paste it into the tool. We can also set this up to print or export to PDF. So for now, let's go ahead and create PDFs. And we'll run letters and click OK or Cancel to stop. If you've got 500 records, for instance, you might want to double check that everything is okay with your template before proceeding, since this can't be stopped once you do. Then it will ask you which letter number you would like to print. We have two different letter templates here, and we'll go ahead and run the first one. Then the tool will get to work, and this may take a few minutes depending on how many data records you have. And as it runs, it will create two folders in the same folder that you're running the tool from. In our case, it's on the desktop. And you'll see files, which will contain the PDF letters, and images, which will contain all of the property images from Google Places for each of your data records. So let's have a look at some of these PDFs. And we see that each one is a unique letter, populated with different property records. So let's come back to the tool here, and again you can modify this template any way you like, with your information, your message, and your pictures, etc and the tool will modify this template with each of the property record details and the property image sourced from Google. And this is very useful because people tend to pay far more attention to a letter that has an image of the property in question. You can also preview the letter by clicking on File, Print, and Show Print Preview. And from here you can make final adjustments before you print if you like, such as custom margins for instance. You can create as many of these letter templates as you like. I'll just right-click on this tab, then select Move or Copy. Create a copy, then I'll rename it Letter 2. 
And for instance, maybe in this letter, I'll tell the prospect that I've just sold a property near theirs, then ask if they'd be interested in selling their property. Again, you can create as many of these letters within the tool as you like. Okay, now let's open up our folder again here and look at the letters. We've already placed the address here so that you don't need mailing labels. Simply use a window left number 10 envelope or a double window envelope to show the return address, fold in thirds, and you're good to go. Now you can print these out one by one, or we've set up the tool to print all of them at once for you. To do that, from the Start tab, simply select Print, and when you click Run Letters, the tool will send those off to your printer, and you're good to go. So long as you have your printer turned on and hooked up to your computer, it will print out copies for you. And lastly, let's say that you've got 500 records, and you don't want to print them all. Or you have several letter templates, and you'd like to send different letters to different properties. No problem. Simply come to your imported data records, and let's say that in this case, we only want to print out letters for properties in a certain zip code. We'll come to Sort and Filter, Filter, and you see that each of the columns now has a drop-down menu. In this case, we'll come to the Property Zip Code column, We'll uncheck this to deselect all. And let's say that we just want to send out letters to properties in the 91205 zip code. Click OK, and Excel filters out those five records. If we come back to the Start tab, Run Letters, it will only print those five records. And here we can select which letter template we'd like to use. You can do further filtering, of course and just come back to Sort and Filter, Filter, if you want to clear those filters and start over. Or, if you want to apply a custom filter, you can simply add another column. It doesn't matter what you name it, but we'll call it Print here. And simply add a value to the records you'd like to filter. We'll just add a Y for Yes to certain records here. Then, with Sorting and Filtering enabled, simply go to that custom column, deselect all, and select, in this case, Y. And those records have been filtered out. And finally, let's look at printing postcards as well. And note that our template here is for a double-sided, folded postcard. So there will be data to print on four sides of the card. The outside front and back, and the inside front and back. Again, feel free to include any data fields you would like. But unlike the letter templates, you'll need to add a 1 or 2 inside the mail merge fields in order to distinguish between the data on the front of the card and the back of the card. And again, you can do what you like with these. And for consistency, it is probably best to make sure that if you move the image or any of the data fields, you should repeat the same for the other sides of the card. And again, you can come to File, Print, to see a preview. You can also create as many postcard templates as you like, just as you could with letters, though it is not recommended that you print a PDF for these, but rather send them to the printer. And that's it! With this mail merge tool, you can make your letters and postcards to prospects really stand out, and save yourself countless time and money if you're mailing to several prospects at once. If you would like more tools, or would like us to custom tailor a tool to work with another website, just get in touch with us at easyexcelautomation.com and we'd be happy to develop something for you.